Columbus coach. Really? It was it was a topical joke. Okay. He's not actually on the phone with Pierce. Hey guys, did you know that I'm actually like incredibly gullible? <laughs> did you know that I actually believe anything you say at face value? I'm sorry. I don't know anything. Oh my god! <laughs> when when Austin leans forward, look at Carlton. What's happened to Carlton? <laughs> You Don't crush Alfonso Ribeiro like You want to know what my favorite thing about that Carlton shirt is? What is? Is that Carlton picture was actually anti's Twitter picture for yeah. for a while recently? No, I love Alfonso Ribeiro, dude. Okay, anyway, we got Jason versus Austin in We've winners commented, finals. I'm, I'm getting deja vu. I feel yeah. like I've been in this place before, higher on the street. Yeah, definitely have seen winners finals be Jason versus Austin many times before. We've seen them go to Battlefield. We've seen Fox versus Ness. Basically, they hit each other, and a lot of bad things happen. Mm -hmm. When Fox is above Ness, bad things happen. And when Ness is above Fox, bad things happen. Yeah. Nothing. You really just want to be on the floor. Mm -hmm. K gets the jabs. This jab's not something you really see Jason utilize too much. Mm -hmm. Recently, I think he's been doing a lot more of it for the landing traps. Mm -hmm. It's just a quick free punish, and Fox jabs do a good amount of damage. That right there was something that Jason yes, no has needed to uh, needed to incorporate in this game more, which is recovering with the side beat to the platforms. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to see that he's actually doing that more now because I think that's one of the things he was really missing against Austin was the threat of the high recovery. I really liked a second ago, Jason got the cross-up Nair on, Jason, on a Austin Shield. Ooh, they're missing, missing the spacing on that back air. Sets it up so Austin is able to get that grab. Oh, that's actually <laughs> really smart by Jason if he meant to get hit by that. Austin really tries to make Ness down here a good move. <laughs> it is not. He he makes everybody think that it's viable, but it, no, it's you're right, it's not. He just crossed up his shield with forward smash and set up for the up tilt. I love I love the way Jason plays around Austin's shield. Austin, wow, okay, so Jason baiting Austin to just give up that little bit of center and then take that with the back air. The two frame? He called out the air dodge too. Oh! <gasps> that was the fastest I've ever seen anybody explode. I wouldn't be surprised if it was untackable. No, I how wouldn't. Clo how close to the ledge he was? Oh, but the he actually just down air smash. Game is back to even. Oh! He went for the footstool, but, <laughs> but the there thing is platform. the platform was there, so he couldn't get the reset. That's so sad. He got the jabs again. Jabs work really well, uh, low percent, I think, just to kind of get people off you, get back control the center. I mean, it's a free almost 10 damage. Yeah. Okay, here come the nest combos. Oh, really smart. I like the lasers. No, that's that's it's actually a cute little punish. That was that was actually like a really smart back and forth there between those two, where Austin didn't want to get punished for that, and Jason said, "Well, if you're gonna do that, I can just get a couple of three percent." We've seen Austin get much bigger punishes than neutral air off of something like that. That jump was terrifying because it had the neutral air clipped him, he would be without a jump and trying to recover his fox against now. Speaking of, wow, really smart upbeat. Mm, that back throw, Joe, just gonna reset the entire situation. He does have a jump. Ooh, doesn't get the reflect out in time. See, I was, wow, oh. yeah, there's the up air. See, I was thinking it would be really smart for Jason to pull out that high recovery onto the top platform again. Then he can pull out his shield, he can't get up aired, and he can get back down to center stage safely. Mm -hmm. So Austin going for that up air to call out the side B onto the stage. Jason All going right, cloud. Here it is. He's talked about making his cloud, you know, a legitimate tournament character to deal with matchups like Ness. Like Bayo, mm -hmm. uh, we haven't seen a lot of it. We s we saw it one Grand Finals a while ago, and uh, he kind of fell apart. No, he definitely <laughs> fell apart. It and, was and uh, not tournament ready. Yeah, we we talked about how you know Jason hasn't played very many uh, you know Austin level Nesses with his cloud, but Austin has played many Jason level clouds before because we have people like Denti and Euro Loki here. Right. So we'll see what. Uh, Jason's planning on bringing to the table to take down this nest that he's had so many troubles with against lately. I mean, right now he's doing a pretty good job racking up 80% to a, a tiny little four on his side of the screen. <laughs> but now this can be bad because Austin, the nest edge guarding king. Really okay. smart, actually, by Jason to just get hit by that. I actually like the PK Thunder out of Austin there because it looked like he was trying to set up a PK Fire if Jason just wanted to fall and try to grab ledge. So instead, he went on that next level and called out Jason's jump over that. That could have been cross-slash. 
Oh, Jason, Jason, please. Oh, my God. How did he get through that? It has, it has a little bit of armor on start wow. Well, Jason, by the skin of his teeth, getting through there. And now with a yeah. punish. Wow, intuitively that was, knowing that the up air would have killed, I would have waited and messed up a down smash. That was uh, a very gutsy. Ooh, there goes the limit. Just going to use it to recover to the ledge. Very smart. A lot of people will get a little greedy and say, hey, maybe I can come down with a uh, second hit of Uppy. But against Austin, that's not going to work. He is the master of shenanigans, and shenanigans you will not have against Austin. I like that he got his quick damage, and then he sits back to charge limit. Is going to be forced off stage yet again. Go Ooh, dangerous recovery, but great spacing on it. You know, we were arguing a little bit before that I thought that getting the ledge snap up B with Cloud is a little bit difficult. Yeah. Uh, you just have to be right next to the ledge. I, I think that's what Jason needs to do to not get down smashed by Austin. But yeah. So far, he's proven that he knows what he's doing with his Cloud. Austin Ooh. yet to take a stock. I'm waiting for the commentary's curse to, you know, bite me. Jason there it is. going for an early up B there and realizing that he went for it early, so he didn't go for the immediate drop back down and gave Austin all kinds of time to punish for the back air. But he's still got a huge damage lead right now. Yeah, Austin does not have ample time to bring this back. Back hit of up smash. Gonna get that little bit of extra percent and Jason looking for a finish on the stock before Austin can get some Austin stuff going. Yeah, and he's going for it right now, getting this PK oh. Thunder start up, goes for the pivot grab to call out that down air. Yeah, Jason's getting real aggressive right now. Forward air gonna clip him. Certainly not gonna kill back air will though. Like no, that. it no. won't. Put my words back in my mouth. Jason with the limit. Wow, wow. really <laughs> smartly placed, calling out the tournament winner. And that covers, it wasn't even a tournament winner. That was that was a drop down double jump from Ness. It would cover the drop down double jump. It would cover the neutral get up. It would cover the tournament winner. The only thing it wouldn't cover is the roll. Yeah. And I think he pretty much intuitively knew that Austin would probably not. And even if he did he do a roll, he could probably do a back air. Mm -hmm. Jason waited just long enough that Austin felt uncomfortable holding the ledge, so he had to pick an option. Otherwise, he could just get down tilted and put in a really bad spot. Yeah. So game three is going to Dreamland, which is, you know, this is interesting now that we're seeing new stages other than the Fox Nest battlefield between these two. So I'm waiting to see where this goes. Why do you think that, you know, uh, Dreamland might be the pick against Jason's Cloud? Um, honestly, man, I have no idea because <laughs> I feel like this is a great stage for Cloud. Yeah, it's Jason has hit him with five straight neutral airs. He's get, he gets a lot out of the up airs. And a lot out of just, you know, covering the platforms with his big old sword. Ooh, wow. That was the so The climb smart. hazard. See, that's that's the Jason Charizard instincts. Going for the going armor for the on the fly, up yeah. <laughs> But it's better. It's like attached to a good character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he doesn't have to play Charizard versus that. Still wish he would. Yeah. All right, gets the cross slash. Jason already lapping Austin. Looking like he's going to send him to Loser's Finals, licking his wounds at yeah. this rate. It looks like Jason doesn't fully know the uh, auto-cancel on that forward air, so he's getting some really weird pressure with it, not the way that you want to. That's going to put him in a really bad spot. Oh, that was a decent air dodge, but that'll do it. Jason definitely has moments of brilliance with this character, but then there are also moments of clear unfamiliarity mm. that are uh, kind of pulling the win away from him. Ooh, right just like that roll right there. I don't know if rolling towards center stage and behind Austin was the best idea. Austin went for a neutral air there. Even a trade would have put Jason in a really bad spot, but uh, would have put him in the exact same spot he was uh, just just moments before. Right. No jump. Trying to recover <laughs> against Ness. Ooh, spot dodge with the jabs. Jab is not as safe as you would think. Ooh, Austin has no jump. No, he oh. has a jump. Austin is quite good at that. Oh, now he has no that jump. That was really good by Jason, but no way to follow up on it. No way to sp safely follow up on it, that's for sure. He did not want to throw away a victory. Uh, okay, forward throw to get him off stage. He's. Oh, I thought he had his limit. He must have burned it at some point. Oh, my goodness. Austin, why? I don't think that was necessary at all. <laughs> Wow, Austin just eking that out by the skin of his teeth with that edge guard. I thought Jason had his limit. I thought he was set to get back. I think what happened was he was trying to throw out the limit move to armor through whatever Austin was doing before it pushed him off stage. 
and he got hit before the armor activated, so he lost.